Hello friends, I am Rajneesh and today in this session we shall understand how to implement a dual factor authentication on an open SSH server. To demonstrate this, we have a virtual machine which is this one IPA having the operating system RHEL 6.3. So our objective is to configure OpenSSH server so that it not only asks for a single thing but multiple things. It could be a combination of your key as well as your shadow passwords. So to start up with let's configure a single factor authentication with SSH key. By default OpenSSH server has been configured on a Linux machine so that it supports any single kind of authentication mechanism. It could be a key based authentication, it could be your shadow password based authentication or it could be a Kerberos based authentication. So the first thing for the key based authentication is to create keys with the command SSH keygen minus t let's create them of type rsa or rsa algorithm it is asking me for the passphrase let's give it any passphrase and we are done so it has created a private key which is your id underscore rsa and the public key id underscore rsa dot pub let's copy or move these files to To your USB drive so I don't have any public private keys on my laptop now I have copied these to USB pen drive so whenever I try to log in into the remote machine I need to have that pen drive I need to have the password passphrase corresponding to it to log in into it to log in into the remote server other thing the remote server has not yet been configured to allow login for a particular key to enable it for example user rcval is allowed to login through his key for that we'll have to login into that user as login into the remote server as user rcval get into his home directory then dot ssh folder and there is a file authorized underscore keys this file should consist of the private keys of the users which are allowed to log in into the server using keys so where do we have the public key here it is so here is the public key I'll copy it and place it into the authorized keys file on the destination server and one thing is to be noted is the permission of the authorized keys this file should not be read or writable by any other user so the user can now log in into it using his private key the reason being his public key is present in the authorized keys in the destination folder now let me try to log in one thing that I'll have to do is SSH key is to be loaded into the SSH agent and I do that using SSH add it will ask me for the key corresponding to the pass uh, sorry it will ask me for the passphrase corresponding to the key that was password and the key has now been loaded into the SSH agent it has been loaded and it's ready to use let me try to log into the remote server and I am able to log in 
without providing any password the reason is it used the key and the passphrase of the key to allow me to log in into the remote server now let's try to implement dual factor authentication now we have a key in a USB dongle and a passphrase associated with it the other will be the password corresponding to the shadow password how do we implement it etc ssh ssh d underscore config corresponding to ssh daemon and there is an option it may not be present by default we'll have to add it required authentications to which means ssh version 2 authentication and which all authentication mechanisms are required first is public key second is passphrase and so on to demonstrate this we have used only two of these things public key and the password uncomment it write it and restart sshd okay so now if i try to log in into this remote machine it says authenticated with partial success means the first part which was using the private key has already been authenticated but that's not complete to allow login into the remote machine so the other part is left what is that other part the other part is the password password or the shadow password here it is so let me try to add my shadow password and here I'm into the destination server so rephrasing all the things first thing that you need to do is to create a key that can be created with SSH keygen that will create a private key ID underscore RSC and a public key you can move this private and public keys to a secure folder or a pen drive so whenever they are required you just mount the pen drive and use them how to use them they can be used by using ssh add command that loads them it will ask you for the passphrase corresponding to the key if that is assigned and after that you can use your yeah, ssh add is the command that you used and after that you simply ssh to the remote server and it will ask you for the shadow password to log in into it to the server end you have to add one line required authentication mechanisms oh sorry required authentications for version 2 it's 2 otherwise for version 1 it will be required authentications 1 1 is weak method so we use ssh v2 so required authentications 2 first thing is public key and second key thing is password just save it and restart sshd and you are done thanks for listening good day